welcome back to Fighting 50 and I am here to show you a few more uh, hairstyles for naturally gray hair. I happen to have long naturally gray hair and um, these styles could be done with short, medium or long. And I'm just really excited and I want to thank you all for the good response I got on my last video that I did a couple weeks ago on gray hair. Uh, natural gray hair hairstyles and so thank you so much for those beautiful comments and for asking for more so let's get to it so for first off I'm going to show you what I'm using I'm using this hairbrush a very basic one and a half inch curling iron and we all heard all about the one and a half inch curl last week but that's what I'm going to use first, a couple of my little clips. So I start off by putting a uh, hair band on. I keep that on the entire time curling my hair and I'll show you why after. So I just clip up my hair in sections. So I'm going to start off by spraying some very inexpensive hair spray that works. Oldie but goodie, just like me. I suffer really badly from vertigo, and I noticed that if I spray hairspray and it gets in my ears, it triggers vertigo in me. So I just put a paper towel over my ear when I'm spraying hairspray. Just wanted to put that out there because maybe some of you might not know. And if you do suffer from vertigo, it's a horrible thing and you don't want to trigger it. If you have long hair, you want to definitely uh, brush it through. I let it dry before I hit it with the curling iron. This is how it's coming out so far. I have uh, thicker hair, so I have to do smaller sections for the whole, for it to actually the hole to stay but if you have um, thinner hair or baby fine hair you could use bigger chunks of hair and it doesn't take as long hmm. all right now I'm going to start on the other side I'm going to clip this up here so it doesn't ruin the curls <laughs> lovely <laughs> the last section finally <sighs> patience is a virtue okay so let's see it is all curled I want you to see it's all curled and the top is not curled so you could just, if you want to wear your hair like this with a band around the top, you could secure it with a really cute little hairpin like that. And you could wear your hair simply just curled, right? But I personally wouldn't wear my hair with these kind of curls. It's just not my style i know a lot of people like that and they do do that but and it's cute you could see it's cute but it's just not my personal um style so what i do is i ru run my fingers through the curls so that the curls are more loose and i curled this side of my curls with the curling iron inward. So you could see that the curls go in, inward. And then I curled these outward so that you could see the difference because it's two complete different styles and it gives you two complete different looks. So if you want to do your hair where it's cur like it's flowing in towards you, this is, how, this is how it would look. And you curl it inward, right? And then if you want it to flow outward, you curl it outward. And then the curls go this way. This curl didn't take too well. 
So let me touch it up a little. And then this gives you just a very flowy kind of um, hairstyle where you're just, it's, it's definitely more of a dressed up look, like if you're gonna put a really pretty dress on and you wanna have your, your hair curled, it's definitely a more dressed up look. Now you could also easily get it on. So you just like kind of run your fingers through the top, the front, the sides. And then you grab from here and you pull up and you could use any type of clip that you prefer. I have thicker hair, so I use the bigger one, but you could use a smaller one, whichever size you like. And that pulls your hair away from your face, but you still have a lot of volume and style going on. You have your hair still looking very um, put together and like an actual hairstyle. And then if you do a less, if you pull less of your hair up, see now what I was gonna show you is the reason I leave the band on my hair is because it gives you that volume and it pushes your hair away from your face. Now I could use the smaller clip with less hair and it gives it a little bit of a different look. And then, as anybody knows that subscribes to me or watches my videos, you know I am a ponytail kind of person. <laughs> and that's my hair that I feel looks the best on my, the, my face, the structure of my face. So I give myself a high ponytail. Look at, isn't that cute? Like it, all it is is curling your hair. Look at how cute. It lifts your hair, gives it that full, you look like you're ready to go. I feel like I look 10 years younger when I pull my hair up away from my face than when I have my hair down. Like from behind, you would think I was a young girl but I'm not. So look at that. It's cute, right? Now, if you want to add a little bit more of a tighter curl look, you could use a smaller curling iron once you have your hair all curled. And at the top, you could just put in a few extra curls up here, and it's going to give you a lot of volume. Especially for women who don't have a lot of hair, like if you're struggling and you have less hair, then you're going to want to do this little trick because it actually will make your hair look like it's double the, what it is. It really gives it a lot of volume and it makes it, it'll make your hair look like twice the amount. So you get a smaller iron. This is the one I use and you go you, you do as many curls as you want like you could do four or five it just depends you're gonna see when you mess around with it you'll see how which you know what works best for you but um it definitely will give you a lot a lot more fullness Ooh, hot flash look at that so lovely isn't it 
Oh, what we have to go through as women. Okay, and then I'm going to add a few smaller curls to the bottom because I want to give it an even, like, kind of shoulder length. Look at that. So cute. So there you have it, a really cute updo, fast, full, cute, ready to go. Let me know if you like it, comment down below. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and hit the notifications. If you wanna know when the next one comes up, please comment down below, let me know what you think, if you want me to do more videos like this or um, any other suggestions you may have. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped and have a wonderful and blessed week.